What's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and today in this video I'm going to design this particular design into the Canva mobile app that too with free version yes you heard me correct we are not doing a pixel app video today but today we are doing a Canva mobile app video as you asked so in this my last video I talked to you about why you should switch to some other design software than pixel lab and I have discussed about like the pixel lab is not getting any updates it is not getting any new features and that's why you should use to like have some other softwares as well with you and I'm not telling you to completely switch from pixel lab to some other design software I'm just telling you to have some more options as well and like in this case today I'm going to design this particular design into a canva app with the free version and if you basically get the heck of it you can design multiple posters just like you do on pixel lab or even more because it has more features on pro versions and basically that can be done on the canva app and uh, you just need to know this app and by this tutorial by the end of this tutorial if you watch this continuously and without any skipping you can get the heck of it and you can design much better productive designs or much better designs or you will get a lot of inspiration on this uh, canva because it has a big community it has a lot of like pages that you can see and a lot of inspiration that you can go check out so yeah there is a lot that is available on canva that is not available on pixel app and that's why i'm recommend you to go and check out other options so basically we are creating this design on the canva app with free version uses and this is just like a raw design but it looks pretty good and it has been created with just canva mobile app so be sure you watch this video till the end without any skipping and if you end up liking this video uh, maybe like this video subscribe to this channel if you are new on this channel we create graphic design stuff with mobile apps and some other design new tools that i'm trying out so yeah be the part of amazing play family by subscribing to the channel and without wasting any more time let's get started Alright, so we are on my phone right here and as you can see all my apps right here so again i'm gonna select canva app which is a free version again i have just signed into this my account and that is pretty basic you can also get this link or get this app from play store for free so once you download that and sign up into it you will open up this basic home page which will look pretty much the same if there are no updates and just you will get this plus option right here and you will just click on it here you, you can select your basically poster size or any size that you want so there are multiple size you can also like customize your size that you want to create but right now i'm just going to click uh, on custom size right here let's say i want to create a particular size and have a size that i have to create the design into so today i'm just going to use some standard design size which is 1080 by 1350 so 1350 is like 1080 by 1350 is like a instagram posted size so that's what i'm going to select right here as you can see it is available right here as well so now this will open up a basic editor format of canva and this will be a pretty common if any updates are not there or with minor changes if you are watching this video after a lot of time but you will get like pretty much this interface right here you will get all your things right here like at the bottom you will see all the features just like we did on pixel lab and uh, it is basically a lot similar to pixel lab with some minor difference so here you will get to see this options like these three options where you will get to see elements templates that you can use for designs or you can upload some of your like images that you have on your phone so you can upload them onto uh, like canva and then you can use them from here you can also get this upload options right here so you, if you click on it you can upload your own images so for now just because we are using like a free version we need to up update our own custom pngs so i have downloaded all of them and made a pack of it or like if you want to use it or if you want to have those same packs you can get these all the images all these images into a pack on my telegram group i will share that link in the description and basically you will have, you will just have to go into upload section and upload all of these pngs onto canva to use them also basically so yeah just i will do that so i have already done and uploaded some of my designs which are showing right now and uh, these are all the things that i uploaded over here so as you can see there are options like this so if i go to uploads again you will see all my Im images that i have uploaded over here so again uh, just do that upload all your pngs that i will provide or maybe you you can upload your own and i'm going to select this uh, like background like a gradient background that i have created you can create like gradient backgrounds inside the app or you can use like pre-made backgrounds as well 
so i'm using one and i have just set it up and locked it right like this so you need to use this function to lock your template so you don't like actually move them around which is basically similar to pixel app again i'm clicking on this plus icon and adding more elements to it so the first element that i will add like this thing so this effect is called as a uh, paper torn effect or tiered paper effect you can search that on google and you will find plenty of options on free design websites so i have got one over here and added it like this so again i'm going to go search for like a uh, lock option so just search and uh, lock this on place like this please follow this video like if you don't understand pretty uh, like fast with my fast if you think that is fast then please follow this video like very curiously again i'm going to get like one more png which is available like this png is palm leaf png so that is available on canva as well but it was for pro version so i've downloaded it by myself and uploaded it in png so again i'm going to go into effects right here so once you select the image you will you'll get the option in the below effects and into effects you will get this shadow effect and there are a lot of effects with shadow pre-made that you can customize i'm just going to select this one and once you click on that again you can basically customize your shadow so that is pretty neat and i'm just going to adjust the angle of the shadow offset of the shadow that we get and also the transparency so yeah basically you can adjust everything and the color of the shadow as well so i'm just going to keep it black right now and we have added a shadow so this is how you will add shadows onto all of your elements and if you click on this element you can move it around and keep them right over here so again uh, you can click on this option right here and you can copy it so just copy it around and place them so i'm just going to do that right now and i will fast forward this a little bit and place all my images like all my pngs right like this on this on this design so like this i will create copy and just move it like this and keep it over here again copy it move it like keep one over here keep uh, one at the bottom of the design and this is how you can copy and paste all of these images like this so i hope you are like following along uh, along with this design and you just can take your time i have taken my time to design it took me a lot of time to get the heck of it like for the first time now i can design pretty much really faster like just like let's just like i did with uh, pixel app so here we are again adding one more image which is the plate image and by the way all these pngs are available on the pack that i will upload on my telegram so be sure you get this one if you're following this me with me again doing the same thing and going through the effects i'm just going to add a shadow effect over here you can try out all the effects like all the shadow effects and select what you actually need what looks better so right now i'm again adjusting the shadow and it just looks pretty good it is also coming up with pre uh, shadow so that's why it looks pretty good already but you might have to add like shadows and make them more better again i'm going to go and lock this from this option right here so again click on that lock it on place and you will not remove it or move it around accidentally again i'm going back to upload section and getting my another image and placing it right over here so as you can see it is pretty clean right like as so far this is a pretty like basic editing that you can do and uh, it is pretty similar to pixel lab as well so if you're watching this from pixel lab you will get this idea but even if you're watching this like alone you can you will get this idea that it is actually pretty simple now once we add and place that image on the place as you can see this is how it looks like you can add uh, multiple things right here so again i'm gonna go and add one more thing so let me see what i do need to add okay so this is the background we are going to add so this is the uh, rays like light rays uh, background text or uh, like a background as png or image you can call it and we will get this on canva too but i have uploaded it so i'm just keeping it right over here and from below i can select all of these options so this will be another options that we can get i'm just going to unselect this from here and uh, we're getting this all these options so these these are not the options that we want so i'm going to deselect this and go it into background so yes this is the uh, thing that will go into layers like the image will be going going into the background into the depth so we want that to be on our background right on our background so again do that and it is looking pretty good right now now what we'll do is we will we'll go into effects again we will have to go into effects and we have to decrease the transparency so as you can see once you select that right layer 
you will get all the options right below from here you will get to see this effect right here transparency so select that one and decrease down the opacity of that particular image layer or the background layer so that is how it will look like right now and once it's like once you like uh, decrease down the opacity or transparency make sure you move it around onto the right place like this on this corner right here and maybe adjust all your images again like how they look like and basically adjust what you think that looks better so that's why i'm doing right now but you might do a different design and it will be different with every other design okay right now once again we have gone to that upload section and got a text so this text is actually made with pixel lab app because there are a lot of fonts on uh, canva app but uh, there were not like good fonts available or i was not able to find that particular font so that's why i pre-made this uh, design template or this text template as a png and added it over here so you can do that you can definitely use other design softwares for using and creating designs over here as long as you are not comfortable with this design once you get the heck of it once you find all the fonts that you want you will basically switch to canva so that's what i've done over here and added that particular text png again i'm going back to the upload section and i will add this element right here so these are three plates of uh, png that i have created add and created it with uh, let's say removing their backgrounds and added them onto one image and this will be a png so i'm just going to crop it like this by the way as you can see in the bottom you will get all these options that you can do and use so i'm just using crop option and keeping it over here like this so i'm just going to set its position right now and one more thing that i will definitely recommend you that if you're working with like complex designs and you're you have like a lot of templates and a lot of elements then i will recommend you to go and use a zoom option of that like zoom in your on into your design and then edit your things so that that way will you will not click on other options and basically it will make your design a lot uh, faster so again i'm adding text right here so i have chosen the uh, headline so i have you seen like uh, i'm just editing the uh, text that i've got and i'm like adding the text right here so again this will be the name of the uh, like the dish that we are going to be selling with this template so here i will add and use the fonts so fonts is like bevan a pretty cool font and free font by the way so you can use that one again over here and click on this cross icon again with text you will get all the basic like fonts and colors uh, you can control the boldness or italicness of the font so all the basic fonts like font editing tools are available on the on the app as well so by the way this is how i'm going to keep it also i'm just going to uh, change the color of it with this tool right here and now i'm changing it to, to yellow or orange and this is how it looks like once again copying copy it again and keep it at the bottom so here i will write down the name or description of that particular dish so that's where i'm going to just edit i might fast forward this a little bit so be sure you take your time with your design if you're following me along with and uh, yeah just take your time add a proper description to the design but i'm not doing that great job right here i'm just adding something for the like look of it so that's the text right here again and uh, yeah fresh veggies with spicy meats i i can that will work so again i'm going to select the text and click on font size decrease down the font from here and keep it right on its position like at the center you will definitely get alignment options again on here in canva app so that is pretty good for text and aligning things over here so again use that one again if, if you can and just making sure to color it black so again font color then i'm gonna scroll and i'm gonna change it to black so right now my font is right like this so that is what i've been i'm just going to copy it more two times on the other side for more two dishes right here on the screen as you can see and this is how it looks like so i can select the image and effects and i will go and add a shadow effect to that particular plate so it will look more good and just selecting and checking out which shadow will work so hopefully you will be able to do that and hopefully you will be like uh, getting the heck of it and i know it's pretty like similar to pixel lab so you will get like faster with design again i'm just copying it and let's say i'm just going to change like again i'm zooming into that design so after zooming up to you zoomed in you can basically work a lot of faster because you will get more like 
like all the options to toggle the design so be sure you use zoom effect again i'm telling you that because it is pretty handy when you're using a lot of elements in the same space so again i'm just going to add and copy this and fast forward this a little bit more so that you will get to know but this is just the same thing that i did with first image adding all the images keeping them on their positions adding and copying the same text that you know, i've created and changing them or re-editing them with the name that we want to add on a dish so that is what i'm doing right now again with that with that process you can make changes see if their text is looking right you can make like various changes to it so right now i'm adding a lot more changes to my text again copying it from here and keeping it over here reiterating it so this is how you will create and post your like text right here so again from here uh, the basic design is created you just need to add all the text right here so again i'm gonna go and add all the text so i'm just copying it right here and keep it over here to you know text my number so here i will write down my number that people would call to order online like for the shop so that's what i'm gonna do just select uh, the cursor to that right corner again like this delete all of this and basically write the phone number write down the phone number that you want to add over here so with plus icon I'm just going to add some random number like one two three four or something nine 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 so that's pretty common number again if you ask me so that's how I've written the number this is how it looks like again I'm just going to uh, let's keep it like this and copy it once again maybe okay the font is a little smaller okay so now it's bigger and as you can see it looks a lot better again copying that again same text with the same size with the same color i'm just going to re-edit it with call us text so let them gonna type it like this call us on that number so that's pretty very basic and just uh, add it and position it rightly so again i'm just going to uh, decrease the font size selecting that form selecting this uh, color i'm gonna change it to black and uh, this is pretty go going pretty pretty fast but again take your time and uh, make this design as good as possible with these minor and basic things like text and maybe add like more stuff that you can add like you can add a text like uh, uh, the address of the restaurant that you can add over here or uh, you can add like particular icons for the address you can add for the like again i'm gonna go and add the icon again so i'm gonna go into elements right here and i'm gonna search for a call icon so this is the icon that we get with canva free so this is for free and you can use this one again but if you're using free don't use premium or pro version uh, elements because then you won't be able to export your design into like image so if you are using pro elements don't use if you have uh, if you want to like extract them or download the design but uh, yeah basically you can use free elements right here and there are plenty of elements for free so definitely use that one again i'm gonna just going to do and add more text over here and this will design will look much better after adding all of that so i'm doing a basic thing again like uh, copying this text again and adding more stuff like this so again i'm going to fast forward this for you guys and uh, see it like how did i do it as you can see with the fast forward it looks pretty good and uh, add more elements as like you can add more elements as you can see with the final design i've added like qr code I have added this spicy text. You can add the logo of the restaurant and just basically create this and decorate this design as much it looks much better. So yeah, this is uh, the design guys. I hope you will like this design and I hope you understood all the basic features of Canva. And I also hope that you got the understanding that you can create some definitely dope designs with Canva mobile app with the free version only. And this is the proof of that. So this design will definitely give you hopes to create more designs into canva and let me know how do you find this design tutorial and how do you want like what designs do you want me to create in the future videos this will be it for this video and uh, please definitely again subscribe to this channel if you like it this uh, video like this video as well again and i will catch you guys in my next